right out of the box. Number one qualifier for the Gator Nationals first race of the year. Number two on the side of this machine, Sean Bellamere, 544. Impressive. It, was, it got my attention. It was a lot of fun. But, you know, before that qualifying session last night, Boggs, you know, that's right in his wheelhouse. And he told me, he said, it's going to be fast. He said, this thing's going to smoke the tires, blow up, haul ass, or do all three. Uh, and uh, and it hauled ass. It was a lot of fun. So, um, you know, like I said, that those are his kind of conditions. And I actually rolled up to do the burnout, and I saw his feet stuck to the racetrack, and I made the decision there to leave higher. I just knew I just knew the track had it in it. And so uh, left higher, and the thing was a missile. And uh, tell you what, these guys, uh, they never cease to amaze me. The whole Killer Bees team, all these guys, and Tony and everything he's got with this, this whole operation, it is, it is first class all the way. And uh, boy, is it a lot of fun to go for rides like that one last night. John Bellamere went on to defeat Brian Golick in round one. Then it was Phil Ez over Chip Beverett. Bob McCosh advances past Stan Sipos, who is back in NHRA top alcohol funny car competition for the first time at a national event since 1992. And with Wayne Morris losing fire after rolling through the water box, Ulf Leanders got a freebie into the semifinals. <laughs> The power plant for Ulf Leanders has certainly been doing some powering from the Baby Gators to now. Performance certainly has been there, Mr. Leanders. Is it enough there, though, to get past Sean Bellamere in the semifinals? Uh, there's still to see, you know. We're going to do our very, very best to... Uh, we, we would like to pick up a couple of miles an hour. Uh, we're probably going to go for it tomorrow and just see what it did, what it does. A fascinating story when the 16th qualifier takes out the number one qualifier and Jeff Veal did that. If there was a podium, we'd be able to sing Oh Canada right now for you getting that round one victory. Congrats, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. It was very, very unexpected the way our weekend's been going. We are having our struggles, so taking that round win, that was a big one for us. But, hey, what can I say? <laughs> Jeff Veal's good fortune in competition continued against Karen Stalba in round two. Jeff Veal was the only competitor in round one to defeat the higher qualified racer in all of the pairings. So that made round two a stacked round of eliminations. It was Julie Natus over fellow Randy Meyer racing teammate Hunter Green. Jackie Frick powered to a win light over Kirk Wolf. You have Joe C. Maynard in the Samsels racing ride defeat Angel Sampe and again Jeff Veal due to Karen Stalbo's red light turns on his wind light. Your pairings for semifinal action on Sunday for the Draxters Julie Natus versus Jeff Veal and it is Joe C. Maynard up against Jackie Frick. For the funny cars the pairings in their semifinal round will be Sean Bellamere up against Ulf Leanders and Phil Ez against Bob McCosh. They all wanting that shot to go into the final and to possibly earn the Wally here at the 55th Gator Nationals at Gainesville Raceway. I'm Lee Kraft with this Top Alcohol Report. Thank you for watching. This has been brought to you by OcalaTrailer.com. 
from utility trailers, enclosed trailers, easy loaders, toy haulers, and more. The right trailer, you will be able to find it at OcalaTrailer.com.